What's up everyone? Welcome to your 40 minute all out arms and abs workout. Go ahead and get your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? Welcome to your workout today. We've got arms and abs to cover and this is an all out workout. So I want you to remember round three, all out. The same weight that you used maybe in round two, but we're upping the tempo, we're pushing hard and we're getting close to that failure point in your movements, okay? So water and a sweat towel and we're gonna range in dumbbell weight from something as light as a tricep kickback for myself, that'll be 10 pounds, all the way up to something as heavy as a chest press or a bent row. So for myself, I'm gonna try and push up into my 30 pound dumbbells there, grab something in that weight range or those two dumbbells that works for you. I have my bench out here as well and I'll be using that for my chest press and also to stabilize myself on our bent rows and tricep overhead extensions. We'll work in the upper half and then the lower or in the core in the second half, okay? So let's go and get into your warm up. Big crossover, three, Two, one, here we go. Good job, three rounds per exercise, 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds to rest. In your 15 seconds, you're either shaking out your hands, breathing, stretching out your hips, or you're advancing your weights. So grabbing that next set, or grabbing some water too. Three, two, just the left arm, cross and open. Keep your chest right here. Good, three, two, and switch arms. Keep your chest here. Round your back a little bit on the cross and then really open on the open. Good job, hands together, let's take them up and bend and straighten. Good, take it down and over, reaching back a little further each time you go. Open up the shoulders, the triceps, and the lats. So first half of the workout, entirely upper body. We're gonna start with a combo move three rounds there, and then we'll work into some supersets. Good job. All right, arms out, open and close. Good, bring them in, open, close. Good, all right, take it back, straight arms. And just let your arms swing a little higher each round. Three, two, and one. Gentle push on your tailbone. Let's open the hips up a little bit. Good job. Reach back one arm at a time. Support your tailbone on the other side. Keep the control. We're just adding a little stretch. And if this feels really tight, feels really good, pay attention to your hip mobility. Okay, get up every hour throughout the day. Make sure you're not just sitting for eight hours and then you stand up and stretch for 20 minutes a day. Move throughout the day. All right, 15 seconds, we're gonna get started. First move, bicep curl, shoulder press. So we've got a pull and a push. I'm gonna start with my 15s. Pick a weight that challenges you. Ready? Here we go, four, three, two, one, 30 seconds to work, here we go. Good, any variation of curl here, you can do hammer curl, you can do a supinated open palm curl. 15 seconds, come on. Oh, just a pull and a push. One more, four, three, two, Good job, rest and if you can, go up and wait. Round number two, we go in five. Breathe deep, exhale, pull. Remember, round three, our goal is all out, so we're reaching muscle fatigue, we're reaching muscle failure there. You're getting to that point in 30 seconds of work 
where you think, I don't know if I can do another rep. 15. One more, three, two, one, good. Keep that same weight that you have right now. Up the tempo, so I want good transitions. When you come down, pull before you rest. When you get up here, start to lower before you lock out and rest. Three, all out, two, one, go. Come on, push, 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 push. 15. 10. Go, 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 go. Five. One more. Three, two, and rest. Beautiful job. All right. Moving into our first superset, two exercises. We've got chest press and bent rows, okay? So, 30 seconds of work, 15 to hop up and transition. If you're on the floor, you're gonna do chest press on the floor, and then you're gonna flip over to your hands and knees, alternating right here, okay? If you're on your bench, same thing, all right? You can go here, and then chest press on the bench. 15 seconds and we'll go. Same mentality. Round number three, you're all out, okay? Five seconds and we're going for our chest press. Three, two, one, come on. Good job, 10 more seconds, push, push. Two, one, rest. Good job. Now flip it over. We're alternating. Okay, so if you're on the ground, you're just right here. Boom, boom. If you're on a bench, you can kind of straddle. Three, two, one, let's go. Fifteen. One more, three, two, one. All right, go up if you can, chest press, round two. Three, two, one. Let's go. Fifteen. Four. Three. Two, one, good job. All right, come on up, round two for your rows. Four, three, two, let's go. All right, let's go. Last round. Chest press. I'm gonna go up in the chest press. Wherever you're at, it's all out round. So go all out. Five. Two. Let's go.
Push, 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 15 seconds. Come on, more, more. Five. One more, three, two. Rest, good. Whew. All right, bent rows, same type of effort. All out, you're all out right here. Three, two, one, come on, pull. Fourteen. Go, go, go. Seven, six, two, one, and rest. Great job. All right. If you're using your bench, you can move it out of the way. We've got another push and pull combo. Grab some water. Alternating hammer curls and tricep overhead extensions. So, hammer curls, neutral grip right here. Okay, you're gonna turn into it just a little bit, into it, into it. Okay, I just wanna get a little bit more flex out of your bicep. I'm gonna use my 15s, okay? We'll go in 15 seconds. What it looks like, just a little turn, a little turn. So you can squeeze just a little bit more. Seven seconds. Four. Two, let's go. Just a little turn in. Seven. Two, one, good. One dumbbell tricep overhead extension. You can go standing or you can lay it down on the floor for skull crushers. Okay, only 30 seconds of work, so give me a good challenging weight here. I'm going with 25s. Three, two, one, let's go. Fifteen. Two, one, rest. Good job. All right, back to the hammer curls. Go up if you can. Four, three, two, come on, let's go. Feel that squeeze. Think of shortening your bicep up like a baseball, right? It rolls right up your arm. Four, two, one, good job. Hopefully that metaphor made sense. I'm thinking of rolling it up, shortening it like this, and then it elongates. Squeeze hard. Back to overhead. Five, two, one, let's go. Stretch, push. Ten seconds, come on. Two, one, rest. Ah. Okay, last round. Go up if you can. All out, right here. Whew. Same weight or a heavier weight, your effort increases. Two, one, come on.
Good job. Come on. You're right there. 15. One more each arm. Three, two, one. Breathe. Good job. All right. Overhead extensions last round. Got some exciting news for you at the end of this workout, by the way, so make sure you stick around for that. Overhead extension. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Push, push, push. Come on. 15 seconds. Rest a little less at the top. Let's go. Six. Two. One. Oh, rest. Okay. Muscle fatigue should very much be there. We have one more superset in your upper body portion. Then we're going to move on to core. Grab some water. Okay, we're going. Back fly and tricep kickback combo. Okay, so here, straight arm pushback. Okay, we're not gonna do bent arm just for the ease of transition here. Okay, fly, flex your triceps to lock your elbows, push. Okay, squeeze and push. We'll go there in 15 seconds. After that, you're gonna lay down for a chest fly. Pulse, pulse, and pull. Pulse, pulse, and pull. Okay? All right, 10 seconds. I'm gonna go to my 10 pound dumbbells for that fly and kick back. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Fly it back and then push it back. Four, two, one, good. Now you can go to the floor or back on your bench, totally up to you. We're gonna pulse, pulse, and pull back in. I'm gonna use my same dumbbells. We go one, two, and up. Two, one, let's go. And we're also not coming all the way up to the top and resting, okay? Pulse, pulse, move it in, but open back up quick. Want as much time in the open space as you can have. Eight. One more. Three, two, rest. Good job. Back to your fly and push back. Two, one, let's go. Good job. Six, five. Two, one, rest. Back to the chest fly. Good work. Sorry about that. <laughs> Squeaky mat. Here we go. Open, open, and then pull almost all the way back in. Two, one. Four. And rest. You got one more time through both of those. If you can go heavier on either one, let's do it. The first one, I would like you to stay in the same weight range just so your form stays great. 
squeeze and flex. Two, one, come on. Fifteen. All out right here. Go, go, go. Big squeeze. Two, one, rest. Chest fly pulses, round three. Whew. And then we're moving on to the core. Whew. Two, one, let's go, come on. Fifteen. Seven. Two, one, rest. Beautiful job. All right, have every single one of my dumbbells out pretty much right now. Go ahead and grab some water. We're halfway there, we're moving into the second half. Core, core, core. And you're not gonna need any weights for this except for one exercise where you have a straight arm sit up, the dumbbell is optional. So if you wanna grab that and exhale, crunch up, that'll be your second to last exercise. Okay. Move all my weights out of the way here. We'll get started in 15 seconds. All right, so this is a bit of a kind of core flow here at the end. I want the moves to closely just move right into the next one. Okay, so we're starting off two leg jackknives, okay? You can either come up here, touch, or you can take it all the way from the floor and meet in the middle. Three, two, one, let's go. Fifteen. Two, one, great job. Now we're gonna go jackknives one leg at a time, nice and slow. So you're here, switch here, switch here, okay? Stay crunched up the whole time, four, Two, one, let's go. Here. And if you need to modify this, keep one leg on the ground, up and down. Okay. Ten. Two, one, good job. Now, legs up top, straight leg bicycles, nice and slow. Here, here. Support your head, we lift off and go in four. Two, one. Seven, five, four, two, one. Drop your feet down. Regular bicycles now. Okay, so you're here. Seven, three, two, one. Let's go. Ten. Five, 
four, two, one, legs up in the air. We're gonna go toe touches. One leg is gonna drop as you touch. So you're here. Okay, you just drop it a little bit away from the other leg. Two, one, come on, keep it up. Good job, I know you got a good core burn going right now. Keep it up, 11, 10. The next one is where you'll grab a dumbbell if you would like, it's a straight arm dumbbell setup. Three, two, one, take a big deep breath, you're doing great, okay? No frustration through this burn, all right? This is a good challenge. The option is here, okay? If you need help, take it back a little bit, ride it up and then slowly control it down. Let's go. You're feeling like, oh my gosh, why is this not easy for me? It's not easy for anyone. We're working hard together, okay? And if you're working on progress in your core strength, everyone's ultimately working on progress in their core strength. We can all benefit from working on our core every single way that we do it. So no frustration, just dedication. Two, one, great job. Lose the dumbbell, last one. Leg is up, you're taking it knee to elbow, same side. Crunch, push, crunch, push. Okay, if you need to go higher, go higher. But it's same side. Two, one, come on. Six, five, two, one, 30 seconds to rest. All right, we're rolling into the last part of our workout, okay? Every exercise for a core that we just did, two rounds of it. 30 seconds of work, rest for 15. 30 seconds of work, we move down, okay? Everything you did, twice, and then we're done with it, and that's it. Six seconds, we go with our two leg jack knives. Three, two, one, come on. Any modifications you need to make, make them and just keep moving. Okay, if this turns into just a crunch for you, just keep moving. You're working your core, we're doing it together, we're all getting stronger. And that's the whole point of this. Four, three, two, and rest. 15 seconds, you do that one more time and you're done with it. If you can make it tougher, float your legs, come up, okay? If you wanna dial it back, feet on the ground, just crunch and open it back up. Let's go. Fifteen. Five, four. Two, one, rest. Jack knives, one leg at a time, nice and slow. Okay, so you're here. Okay, if you wanna come all the way up, feel free. Two, one, let's go. I just want that rotation and crunch. Good job. 14. Two, one, rest, good job. Whew. Now let's split this last one up. 30 seconds, left arm to right leg for the first 15, and then switch it for the second 15, okay? 
So same side, left arm to right leg for the first 15. Three, two, one, let's go. 15 seconds in, I'll tell you to switch. Four, switch in three, two, one, other side, go. Two, one, rest. Wow. Okay, straight leg bicycles. So you're right here. Stay crunched up. You're doing great. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. Six, five, two, one, rest. One more time. 30 seconds of work and we're done with straight leg bicycles. Whew. Four, breathe. Three, two, one, exhale, let's go. Six, five, two, 30 seconds rest. Good job, another one done. We're moving on regular bicycles. Good job. All right, here we go. 15 seconds. If you need to keep your heels on the ground, that's fine. Okay, if you can float your legs, keep your core tight. Seven, Four, three, two, let's go. I'm giving you that extra 30 rest there because I don't want these just garbage reps, right? I want you to have good quality. Connecting with your core after a little rest is always gonna be more beneficial than pushing through and burning and getting like these little half reps, okay? Your range of motion and the connection is gonna benefit you more than just the burn. The burn is temporary. The and your motion and the connection, that's what develops your muscle. Two, one, rest. One more round here. Five seconds. Think about rib to opposite hip bone. Two, one, let's go. Fifteen. Nine. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, rest. Okay, toe touches with the leg drop. Let's just do one side for the first round, the other side for the second round. Okay, so you're here. Okay, just drop your left leg. 15 seconds, Whew. grab water if you need it. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Five, left leg drops, you crunch up. Two, one. Come on, come on, this is all out here, remember? Seven, six. Rest, 15 seconds, you'll move the other leg. Good job. All right, legs up, 
Let's go. Five, right leg drops. Three, two, one. Fifteen. Eight, seven. Two, one, 30 seconds to rest. Woo. Straight arm sit up. So if you want to use a dumbbell, grab it. Okay, either for assistance or more resistance. We'll go in 15. All right. If you're using it for more resistance, Make sure it stays over your chest and you come up as you sit up under it. Okay, if you're using it for assistance, swing up and then control it down. Let's go. Both of us are controlling it down, by the way. So we're rolling, rolling, slow. Two, one, rest for 15, good. Whew. One more round. Same thing. Whew. You're doing great. Five, four. Exhale. Go. Fifteen. Three, two, one, and rest. Good job. Roll it over onto your right hip. Okay, let's do the crunch here. Okay, just to help your low back and make sure that the core gets to work. This is our last minute, so I know you're a little tired. Let's move in this way, okay? 15 seconds, you're gonna do the first 30, crunching here. If you can use your arm to kind of help you, crunch and lower. If you need that bottom leg to stay down, that's fine. Four, three, come on, give me all you got here. Two, one, let's go. Think ribs to hips. Good, if you reach over and swing, that will help you a bit. Keep your hand right here if you can. So the work only comes from here, no momentum. Two, one, stick here, 15 seconds. Hold, 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 hold. Hold it up, good, crunch just a little bit. Five, four, come on, come on, come on, come on. Rest, good. Other side, 15 seconds rest. All right, same thing over there. Side crunch, 15 second hollow hold, and we've made it. So go hard, come on. Three, two, one, let's go. Eight, seven, get ready to hold. Five, four, one more, three, two, hold right here. Crunch up, I'm reaching for the sky here. Legs are reaching for the sky. Crunch up, crunch up, crunch up, come on. Three, two, one, and roll over onto your stomach. Give me three push-ups and we are done. Here we go. All together, flex your legs, flex your core. Three push-ups and we're done. When you're done with three, on to your hands and knees. You've made it to your cool down. Amazing job. 
Big deep breath in, let your ribs fall to the ground. Relax your spine as you exhale, lift them up. Keep that going. One more. Reach your hips back. Arms stay out front. Pinkies are on the ground. Your thumbs are pointed to the sky. You're looking up at the thumbs. Reach, reach, reach your hips back. And go ahead and drop your forehead if that feels okay to you, right in between your biceps. Lift your tailbone up and one vertebrae at a time. Lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up. Drop your hips to the ground. Open your chest up with your head coming up last. Look over your shoulder towards your back heel. Switch sides. Good work. Come onto your hands and knees again. Walk it back to your knees. Roll back onto your feet. Good job. Slowly make your way up to standing however you can. Whew. All right. Arms up overhead, grab onto a wrist or a towel, pull. Big exciting news about what's coming up next in our workout programming. We have sort of what I like to call preseason training for our big 12 week program that's coming starting next month. So, switch it over. This next program that we're about to rock into is called Pre. Okay, I'll leave more information in the description and in the comments below, but we're basically getting our minds, our bodies, our lifestyle ready for Summertime Fine 2023, okay? I have a big celebration at the end of Summertime Fine for you as well. So, right arm, left arm over the chest. We're starting with pre, okay? In the next program, you're gonna see glimpses of what you can expect in our big, most successful program every single year, Summertime Fine. We're taking these four weeks and we're getting you completely ready to maximize the results that you're gonna get out of that program. So in pre, I'm gonna coach you through lifestyle tips to maybe make sure at the end of the day, each workout, maybe make sure that your dishes are done. Maybe make sure you know that you have your meal prep containers clean. Just getting you into a lifestyle and giving you glimpses within our workouts of what you're gonna see coming in summertime fine. Okay, switch it over. So think of this month coming up next as just your get ready for the best summer of your life program, okay? We get into preseason training, preseason conditioning. This is pre-summertime fine. And I want you to maximize this month, taking a little breather between our big 12 week programs here and truly, truly getting ready. All right, pull your fingertips back. Things that you need to figure out to truly make this a lifestyle. Things that you really need to get in order, right? Just get your stuff together and finally make this who you are and not what you're temporarily practicing for a couple days a week. Switch it over. Okay, and if you want a little bit more help with that, you can join me in my membership community. It's called the Sydney Squad. I go live there several times a week coaching on motivation, accountability, nutrition. I bring special guests in. I answer your questions in the squad to make sure you have a community and you have a trainer that is going with you on the journey to your goals. So we're rocking into pre on Monday. Make sure you check out everything in the description below. And then we roll into summertime fine and then Exciting news coming after this. Stay tuned for that. I will see you back here for our next workout and make sure you're subscribed to the channel by clicking subscribe right below this video. I'll see you tomorrow.